for the norm, I have no idea what's happening, except a fire drill randomly this afternoon. So this is my school on the on the playground. They call it the playground. They're still coming in. All 5,000 of them. Getting ready for a fire. Can I? Ni hao, y'all. It's Jilly, and I'm so excited to tell you about all the crazy things that happened in Changzhou in November. So November was about three months into living in China. And for me, that was sort of when the crux of cultural adjustment happened. And I'm excited to say that I really, I really do love China, and I can see myself being here another year. Something that I did at the beginning of this month was a friend and I traveled. We took a train, then we had to transfer to another train, and then we took a bus, and then we took a taxi to the Yellow Mountains, which are relatively near Changzhou in the East Coast. It was still overall about two and a half hours of travel to get there, even on a bullet train. So it's called um, Wangshan, is Chinese for the Yellow Mountains. And we went and it was beautiful. Like, these mountains were just drop dead gorgeous. And they just went for forever, just up into the clouds and then keep going and you're above the clouds now. We, we took a cable car up the first level and we were in a cable car for about 15 minutes, which doesn't sound like so long, but when you're going up at almost a 90 degree angle, scaling the sides of these mountains, just going into clouds and coming out and seeing rock faces next to you, it was insane. So we were way high up. It was just incredible. It was a little bit cloudy, a little bit foggy, but it overall felt just really ethereal and just very peaceful. November was also Thanksgiving, and so we, we just have a really fun crew of AYCers in Changzhou. So we've all been missing Mexican food. So instead of cooking a traditional Thanksgiving meal that would not even be able to compete with what our families do for us back home, we decided to make burritos and guacamole and have cheese. Hey Nico, what are we doing for Thanksgiving? Free gaming with sushi. And then? And then eating Mexican food for Thanksgiving. Yep. And then afterwards we might go to KTV. Hopefully. <laughs> We're just having a cultural experience over here. I love being an American in China. I could, I could even maybe see myself here another year or two, which is not anything that I thought coming into this year. But I really love it. I just, I feel very lighthearted and full of joy and whimsy. And I just hope that it continues. I can't wait to fill you guys in with what happens in December. It's gonna be another awesome month. And until then, Zaijian, bye bye, and I'll see you soon.